Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. <clears throat> Today we're going to be listening to Evangelist Enthrall to the Void of Bliss. Holy shit, this is a fucking insane album. Just some killer, blackened, death, avant-garde insanity. Like, that's the best way to describe this record on 20 bucks spin. I did a review on it, uh, it's fucking just killer stuff, really can't recommend this enough if you have an open mind when it comes to uh, your tunes, fuck yeah, this is something really, really special and different, and trust me. But today we will be reviewing a new pickup, but it, I'm very, very stoked on this from my local record store. And that is Emperor's self-titled EP from fucking 1993. Well, it was recorded in 1992, but originally released in May 1993. Oh my god, this is phenomenal. Whoever did this uh, remastering or just mastering for vinyl, just killed it. This is on 180 gram colored vinyl. It's fucking sick. It's so loud. Like seriously, it's such a good mix. I can't praise whoever mixed this enough. There's no like, you know, liner notes or anything. So I think that's what they mean by um, it's an original repressing replica because I guess it's just uh, you know the death on the pale horse artwork by uh, Gustav Dorr from like 1865 one of my like favorite paintings ever so I always was interested in this record like even when I had the CD version and just look at that shit it pretty much sums up this fucking album. And this is when uh, Mortis was still in the band before he turned into a goblin. And you also have Faust, the murderer of the homosexual man in, uh, you know, Lords of uh, Chaos until the light takes us. You know, where you probably saw it a million times, but there's that infamous photo of Fossed with the torch. Then you have Samoth blowing some fire, which is kind of ironic because he went to jail for church arson a little bit um, after this and uh, in the night side eclipse. And then you have Asan who just fucking rules and is still putting out some killer fucking tunes. Um, I mean, I haven't really listened to his solo work since his. Uh, complete departure from Immortal when everything fell apart and whatnot, and he put out the one, uh, it might have been self-titled even, but uh, I, I know that, uh, you know, he goes by this name with the band and whatnot, and they put out cool stuff, but it's just not Emperor, and uh, to me, this is Emperor at their fucking prime, and how can you say that four songs is abandoned their prime? Because what came after this? And the fact that this is just a blueprint for In the Nightside Eclipse, to me makes this completely essential second wave Norwegian black metal listening. Like, if you're into, you know, the whole second wave Scandinavian scene, there's no excuse to not have this or, you know, have at least heard it. Like, I Am The Black Wizards is, like, one of the best black metal songs ever. And especially on this fucking version. Like, like I said, the repressing of this is phenomenal. Like, it's so loud and I don't know how they did it, but they got this, like, sick, raw, lo-fi production sound that's, like, loud and crisp as fuck. Like, you could tell it was, like, I, I can't explain it. Like, you need to just, like, really, like, last night I turned my lights out, sat in the dark, and listened to both sides of this, and 
I mean, I really do wish this was kind of like, uh, I forget who repressed it, but everything was just on one side and the other side had just uh, an etching. But this, on 180 gram vinyl, and like I said, the mastering just sounds fucking phenomenal. So I'm glad that I picked this up at my local record store too. I mean, yeah, it was kind of hard at first to justify spending $27 on four songs that I've heard a million times. But then I started thinking about the importance of this and there was only one copy and why not support your local record store? Especially when I started looking up how much this costs on like Amazon and whatnot. Like it's about $24. So plus shipping, you're pretty much paying $27. So, fuck yeah, I'm glad as shit I picked this up from my local record store because now the guy that runs it's gonna order in more black metal and death metal and stuff like that. Like, I kind of made a deal with the guy. I said like, hey, if you start getting like death and black metal in, I'll start like shopping here regular, like pretty much like every weekend I'll come in and buy something. And I've pretty much, stuck by my word I mean he's been getting killer stuff in I mean he normally goes for like the bigger names like I really wish he would uh, I'm probably gonna tell him actually a list of certain albums that he should get in cuz he seems to be going for like early earache like death metal which I have no fucking problem with whatsoever but everything that he has right now I already have and uh, same thing with the Metal Blade stuff, except for the Cannibal Corpse stuff. Like, uh, he got another copy of Eating Back the Life in, which I need to snag because it's the only repress from last year I didn't pick up. And uh, he also has Gallery of Suicide on colored red. So I would like to own that because it's my second favorite Corpse Grinder record. But let's get back to this fucking classic masterpiece that's been in my hands. This, um, Originally had two songs from Wrath of the Tyrant, I Am the Black Wizard and Wrath of the Tyrant. And then you had two new tracks, Night of the Graveless Souls and Cosmic Keys to My Creation and Times. These are, it's just fucking amazing stuff. Like early Emperor when they still were wearing the corpse paint is kind of unfuckable in the, you know, you know, the whole black circle Norwegian thing. I mean, next to Dark Throne, to me, like, you don't really fuck with Emperor when it comes to the second wave of Norwegian black metal. I mean, this EP and In the Nightside Eclipse are just phenomenal, and as much as Varg is a shithead, uh, the Ashes EP, self-titled Burzum, and, uh, sorry if I mispronounce this, uh, Philosophum, I always fucking mispronounce that album. Those are the only fucking three things by Varg I really fuck with. Um, cause he's a fucking shithead, like I said. Don't support that guy. Do not give him your money. And... Let me read you the little, um... I guess these are the winner notes, um, but... Recorded under the December full moon. Anno 1992 at Studio S. Produced by Emperor, music by Samoth, and Hassan, lyrics by Mortise. And here's an address to the Emperor Horde. P.O. Box 533812 Akaranan, Norway. Include IRC Hales Hellhammer Mayhem. DSP Helvit Liher Voiled Eoldiarum. Count Grishoff and Enslaved. So this was before Varg murdered Euronymous. Um, yeah. 1992. Killer fucking shit. And like I said, just, you know, you can't really go wrong with this. Like, it was released in 1993 and recorded in 92. And this fucking repress, like, really, really, you know, it's so goddamn good, and I can't say that enough, because it is. Like, the fact that they got the production to sound as sick as it does is just 
mind blowing. Like, you have this raw production with this like crisp ass like quality to it, and few bands, especially from the Scandinavian scene, you know, they were going for the most primitive raw sound that they could fucking get. Where Emperor was going towards the other end of the spectrum, where yeah. Like, the demo and the EP is kind of recorded, like, raw, but this is remastered to sound fucking like it came out yesterday. Like, this is what you would want, you know, a band that worships the second wave of Norwegian and Scandinavian black metal in general to sound like. Like, if I was to start a band and my major influence was, you know, the, the second wave of black metal... I would completely just jock these four songs because from the tremolo riffing to the keyboards, the atmosphere, it's so fucking good. And I also received something that really, really reminded me of this and pretty much was the reason I picked this up along with King Diamond's Conspiracy because fuck yeah. but. I really have to thank uh, Paul from Grok, A Spineless Descent, after listening to this, and it really, really reminded me of the Emperor self-titled EP, and it was one of the reasons that as soon as I saw it at my local record store, I started fucking, I was like, holy shit, like... I was just talking about this in my review for this fucking killer cassette because these have a lot of similarities, like, a lot. It, they're both killer fucking, like, albums, even though this is an EP, but the atmosphere, the riffing, the keyboards, these have way more in common than you would think, and hell fucking yeah. So, like, if you like, you know, atmospheric, yet vicious black metal, essential. If you like Norwegian second wave black metal, or just second wave Scandinavian black metal, essential fucking listening right here. And if you're going to start a black metal band, you can wear corpse paint or don't, but... This would be probably one of the last times you saw Emperor wearing corpse paint are in these photographs. And there's nothing wrong with that because they saw it as being trendy and uh, it losing its meaning, which, um, you know, it happens, I guess. And that whole scene, if you've read Lords of Chaos or watched Until the Light Takes Us, you know, to me, you have a bunch of unreliable narrators, and that's all I'm really going to say about that. But this is very, very important when it comes to even modern black metal, which is one of the reasons that I'm kind of sucking its dick, but I'm not at the same time. It seriously, like, it stands up to time. It stands up musically, lyrically. And just everything about it, it fucking stands, it stands up, and it's, it's amazing. Like, I can't get enough of this. Like I said, I wish it was longer, but then you'd probably just say, hey, just listen to In the Night Side Eclipse. It's just a tiny bit different because the keyboard isn't as prominent in, in this. It's kind of uh, lower in the mix and just way more grim sounding yet beautiful and like I said if you're in the the new grok cassette a spineless descent then yeah seriously pick up this reissue you can get it for like $24 on Amazon like I was saying or go to your local record store your favorite distro just pick this up before you can and uh, yeah I can't recommend it enough it's just a fucking classic black metal EP but you were listening to Evangelist on 20 bucks spin. This is again amazing. Pick this up. Thanks for watching.